So guys, uh, you can use urinalysis to actually access um, specific gravity of a urine sample. All right, and that's what we'll be looking at as we actually um, traverse this video. I'll be talking about the concept of how we can be able to use urinalysis to be able to access specific gravity. Okay, and urinalysis is basically you. Uh, I see this. Uh, they use like a hydrometer, and there's a mercury in this hydrometer. Okay, and this specific gravity is just to try to look at. I think specific gravity should be greatly linked to the amount of solute that is actually in urine. Okay. So um, we said that urinalysis is a valuable tool for accessing specific gravity which is the measurement of the concentration of particles in urine. Just like I told you guys, solute particles is still the same thing, all right? Just, just trying to look at the solid component of urine, okay? So this urinalysis is a valuable tool for actually accessing the specific gravity, which is the measure of the concentration of particles in urine, okay? So specific gravity is an important indicator of kidney function and can help to diagnose what various renal disorders, right? So this is just um, the three types of urinalysis. We have the complete urinalysis, which is performed in the lab and looks at the urine composition. You have the word rapid urinalysis, which is just a strip, okay? The strip actually has different colors like this, right? And anywhere it actually falls out, you guys just like, um, Anywhere the color changes to, you just have to like determine it. It is performed at the doctor's office urine test strips. It checks for common renal abnormalities. Then uh, we have the 24 hour urine collection, uh, which is performed at home over 24 hours. All right. Now, this one for 24 hours, it gives a clearer picture of the renal function, right? Because your urine was collected for a period of 24 hours and if there's any problem at all, this problem should be dictated, okay? So guys, that's it. And um, let's talk about the linkage between urinalysis and specific gravity now. So now, um, this specific gravity is a semi-quantitative measurement of concentration of urine, okay? You're looking at the particles that will be in urine. You're looking at the what, um, solute that will be in urine, okay? So now, a higher specific gravity indicates a more concentrated urine. Okay, if you have a higher specific gravity, it indicates that what the particles that were in urine were too much. Okay, and this specific gravity strip is graded like this uh, 1.000, uh, 1 1 1.000, 1.0001, 1.010, 1.015, 1.020, 1.025, 1.030. Okay. So basically, all of that you are looking at the specific gravity actually indicates um, indicates the concentration of urine. Okay, indicates the concentration of urine because if there are more solutes in the urine, the urine is more concentrated. Okay, so now is that you guys have seen the linkage between urinalysis and specific gravity. Now, then also the assessment of urinary specific gravity usually. Uh, usually just confirms the impression gained by visually inspecting the color of urine. Do you understand? Because if you have a concentrated urine, from inspecting the urine, you should be able to differentiate that urine from a clear colored urine, okay? So you are just doing the specific gravity just to confirm what you observe with your eyes, okay? So now it is, uh, it, uh, it usually confirms the impression gained by visually inspecting the color of urine. Now, when urine concentration needs to be quantitated, all right? All right, so guys, that's the linkage between urinalysis to actually what? Specific gravity, okay? Urinalysis, um, this is the strip, right? And we spoke much more on the strip, okay? But we can also use the microscope, right? Uh, do a stain and observe um, observe a urine sample, okay? And definitely you get to see uh, the particles that will be in this urine, okay? And it will help you to determine the specific gravity or to actually know if this urine is what concentrated more than what is normal, okay? I'll see you guys in the next uses of what 
through analysis and 